I'll tell you when we're live. Okay. Okay, we are uh, we are live. Okay, hi guys. Um, uh, welcome to our first uh, yoga masterclass. This is being conducted by Dia. Dia is a certified yoga instructor, and um, thank you so much, Dia, for doing this for us. Uh, we also have two more classes uh, in this series. Please stay tuned for the next classes. This is being uh, anyone who is not a part of the Zoom call can also follow the instructions and do it with us on this live. After the session, we'll also be taking question answers. So, anybody has any query regarding yoga or anything, please um, drop in a comment in the live, and we'll try to answer as many as we can. Thank you, and Dia, it's over to you now. Thank you, Gauri. Hi, guys. I'm super excited to be starting off this series of three special classes, especially for Mali's girl tribe. The first one is called Yoga for Gym Junkies. The reason why I call it this is because I wanted to kind of break the myth that yoga is for old people, for aunties, for people who want to lie down and just do much, not much of anything. So I wanted to get people to understand that yoga is actually an amazing way to move, not just to increase your flexibility, build your immunity, um, anti-aging, but it's also a wonderful way to stay strong and fit. So I know that a lot of us miss going to the gym. A lot of us miss our daily workouts. We're used to that. We're used to sort of breaking out in the sweat. And this is a, an option for you guys who like sweating to come onto the mat and start doing that with yoga. So before I, let's not keep talking. Let's get started with our movement. The idea is to move in such a way that you're kind of moving nonstop throughout your asanas. At the same time, I'm opening up your body so that all those parts of the body that get tight from things like lifting weights or from things like plyometric movements open up. So this is a great complimentary workout to all other workouts, the workouts that you're doing online or following on an app. Let's get started. We're going to start with our Tarasana. So your feet are going to be about three to four inches apart. You're going to intertwine your fingers and take a big breath in. On the exhalation, I want you to lift those arms nice and high above your body. As you breathe in, find the big point in front of you, slowly come onto your toes. Keeping that gaze fixed in front of you, let's start to tuck our bellies inward engaging your core now as well. So because your toes are lifted and your heels are lifted off the ground, you're focusing on stretching all those muscles in your legs, your arms, your spine, and also in your belly. You are stretching that torso. Take a full breath here, guys. And on the exhalation, we're gonna slowly release those arms, lowering them down by the side of your body as you release your heels. Breathe in, reach up to the sky. Exhale and lower those arms. Inhale and lift the left arm up, palm faces up to the ceiling or the sky, breathing in, stretch up. As you exhale, I want you to bend to the mouth. Now relax this opposite arm completely and feel the stretch all through the side of your body. Breathe. Keep your head and neck in a neutral position and focus on the stretch. Lateral side stretches with both feet on the ground. One more breath here. And as you exhale, I want you to turn the palm up and slowly release. Switch sides. Right arm comes up. Palm faces up to the ceiling or the sky. Breathing in, stretch up. Exhale and bend. Opposite arm completely relaxed. Noticing the difference between the left and right side. So just the simple side movements will already start to engage and activate that heartbeat and start to move a little bit faster. Turn the palm out and release. Again, open up those arms. Breathe in. Exhale into front of the fingers at the very top. Keep both feet on the ground and now bend to the left, keeping those hands intertwined. Inhaling, come back to the center. Exhale and bend to the right. Really opening up the side of your body. Come back to the center. And as you exhale, release those arms. Take a breath. Exhale. Moving on to the lower body now. Hands come to your hips. We're going to start with a simple movement. We're going to start with leg lift. So activating and engaging the muscles in your glutes. You're going to start by lifting your right leg up. One, two, simple and easy. Three, keep your body still. Four, the rest of your body. And five, release. Switching sides now, lifting the left leg. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice and easy, take a breath in. Exhale, 
exhale. Keep your hands on your hips and start to lift that right leg for the second time. Knee bends, ankle rotation. One, two, three, four, and five. With us. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Switch sides. Left leg comes up. One, two, three, four, and five. With us. One, two, three, four, and five. Nice. Release and relax. Take a breath in. Again, open up the chest. This time, keep your arms nice and parallel so they're not loose to find the finger. Inhale, stretch. Exhale and bend. One more time. Come back to the center. Exhale and bend again. All the way back to your center. And release. From here, we're going to go into a big sharp one. Run round of three fold. Your right foot comes up. Sole of the foot against the inner thigh of your left leg. If you can't reach your inner thigh, put your foot against the ground. As long as the foot is not pressing against your knee joint, you're fine. So find the point that works for you. Hands in front of your heart. Tuck your belly in. If you're comfortable, raise those arms above your head. Keep your face relaxed and breathe. So big shots and work to strengthen the body. The lower body, it strengthens your standing leg. The muscles in your hips and glutes, and it also helps to open up your hips. It's a great way to practice focus and concentration as you have to balance all your body weight on one foot. One more breath here, and as you exhale, gently lower the arms back down towards the chest, release the arms, release that foot, switch sides. Now I'm lifting my left foot, finding that spot in my inner thigh, hands holding in front of my heart. I take a breath in. And when I'm ready, I raise those arms above my head. Now, feel free to keep your arms in front of your heart if that's easier for you to hold in terms of balance. So find the posture that works for you today. Remember, when you practice your yoga, you have to listen to your own body. Go with the flow of your own body. If you feel like something is pushing too hard, slow down. Child pose is always available. Keep breathing, guys. Inhale. On the exhalation, lower the arms down once again in front of your chest. Release the arms and release that foot. Very nice. Take a breath in. Exhale. Now I want you to open up your hips, taking your feet a little wider apart. Feet pointed away, toes pointed away. You're coming into your sumo squat position. We're going to start goddess pose. One of my favorite postures to activate the lower body. Hands come to your hips. You take a nice big breath. On the exhalation, you bend at the knees and open those legs up. So you're feeling that stretch in your inner thighs, your upper thighs, and your outer thighs. Feet are pressed firmly into the ground, hands in front of your heart, arms relaxed. Breathe. Big inhalation, complete exhalation. Inhale and exhale. One more breath here, guys. Inhale. Now as you exhale, slowly release. So we're going to stay in this posture. Uh, hi guys, I think there's some network issue. We will have to give us two minutes. Dia is reconnecting. Okay, so Dia is back.
I'm really sorry, guys. There's some technical error. There's some glitch. She's trying to reconnect. You'll have to just bear with us and give us like two minutes. Okay, we are back. I can hear you. Yeah, now. I don't know what's going on, dude. Because this is I. This is my fourth class of the day. It's not happened all day, so I don't know. Okay, guys, right. we were back in our goddess pose, so I think we finished our first set. We're gonna work on the second set now. Hands come to your hips. Take a nice big breath as you exhale. Bend the knees. Open up wide again. This time we're gonna start doing pulses here. So we're moving for ten pulses. This is the starting position. Remember, toes pointed away from your body. And hold it in front of your heart. And about ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release again. Breathe in, stretch the arms up. Exhale, bring them back up. This time, keeping your arms in this position as you inhale. Exhaling, bend the knees again. This time we're gonna go into a side movement, keeping your knees in this position. You're gonna bend that left arm, extend your right, inhale and reach. Exhale to the opposite side. Breathing into the left, exhale to the right. One more like this, guys. Inhale to the left and exhale to the right. Bring those arms back out, take a breath in. As you exhale, slowly release. We're not done yet. One more set. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring those arms back down. Hands come back to your hips. Breathe in. Exhale, bend those knees again. Last one now. Inhale. On the exhalation, lift that left heel off the ground. Left heel back. Right heel up. Right heel back. Left up. Down. Right up. And down. Now lift that left one. Hold and up. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. And I can tell that bone is there, but that's a good one. Right foot up, heel up. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, tiny pulses. Four, three, two, and one. Release and fold forward. Both feet forward. Relax your head and neck, release. Let the glutes relax, let the thighs relax. Take a nice breath here. And exhale. One more breath. Now as you exhale, slowly come all the way back up to your standing position. Inhale, arms out. Exhale, stay standing in this position as you turn your left foot out 90 degrees. Inhale. On the exhalation, shift your shoulders, move into your triangle pose. Opposite arm up in the air, both legs straight at the knee, chest open. Focus on your breath. Now starting to notice your own body, noticing which part of your body now feels more active. One more breath here. And as you exhale, bend that knee, bring your hand down to the outside, extend that arm overhead, breathe in. Exhale, both hands come down to the outside of your foot. You swivel your right heel off the ground. You move into lizard pose. Hold. Feel that stretch through your hip flexor, through the tops of your thighs. Breathe. Head and neck neutral. One more breath here. And as you exhale now, I want you to bring that heel back down to the ground. Lift your right arm up and push off all the way. Both feet facing forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, right foot turns up. 